What's up you guys? So I wanted to show you a couple of things um, in my minivan home because tomorrow I'm picking up my Sprinter and this is will be the last chance I get to show you some tips about how I lived in minivans something about past I don't know, six or eight years or something. I don't really remember. I did a lot of traveling in between too so it was kind of part time. Um, more than half time for sure. But probably the most important thing is water. So this was my system for water. I just had this maxi bucket and I just put all my bottles in here. Sometimes I'd have more bottles, of course, when going out farther and I could take a jug like this and put it here, one here, and then that would hold it in place. And so I could have like the full bottles out here and then this would be for the empty bottles. When you're done, you just take the lid off and put it upside down, you know? and the lid just throws down there and then it drains and it dries and I do that in between pretty much every at least every couple of days with these bottles and let it all dry out so that they don't get all moldy and funky and same with these jugs you know just use the water take the cap off throw it in put it upside down for a couple of days or until you fill it up again and that way it dries drains doesn't get funky easy i've loved this i've used this the whole time it's been great every now and then you have to wash out the, the bucket no problem no spillage you know keeps everything from rolling around it's great okay another next most important thing is eating and for years and years even before minivans when i had my tacomas i used this stove I had the same one for like 15 years and I finally just got a new one like two years ago and I cooked on it like easily twice a day for years and years um, every time I was living out of my vehicle and so this pot just fits perfectly in there and I would just keep it over here and then other pots and pans I would keep usually one would be for food and the other would be like pots pans maybe spices implements and all that and then for clothes, I ended up um, doing the packing cells in, in a bin. And these packing cells are awesome. Like this is warm clothes. This is underwear. This is socks. That's shorts. And then the big green one that's under there is shirts. And then these are clothes I'm kind of wearing right now off and on so I don't want to put them back. And then here's a towel, Turkish towel, great thing for traveling. It's just tiny, lightweight cotton soft and way better than a pack towel and there's my belt and underneath is clothes I use um, more rarely so and then the mattress I, I started with like a three inch and after a few years it just I just started squishing through to the board maybe I had it for yeah three years and so I got this on Amazon for a hundred bucks it's a full-size mattress and came rolled up in a box and I think it was supposed to be like six inches and squished down now some but after two years I was having the same problem um, where I just feel my bones squishing through and it just feels like you're sleeping in a bowl in the middle so what I actually did was I cut it down the middle here all the way up and down and then I switched the sides so that now the parts I was laying on all that time are now on the outsides and the parts that were the outsides were now in the middle and you know that's gonna get me another year or two out of the mattress before having to buy another one so that's good and a recent addition was this cooler I didn't have a cooler for years and years I would just put things under here and that would actually keep it cool enough um, most things that you think need refrigerated they don't um, yogurt cheese butter you know all that the only thing you can't keep without an actual refrigerator is like milk or raw meat you know so a lot of times i just cook my meat and then have it in a container and it'd still be good for another couple of days um you know and of course it works all but maybe the middle of summer so i just try to be somewhere cool up in the mountains anyways in the middle of summer or a lot of times i was all the way up in alaska um so the recent addition that I found worked really well. I got this cooler as a hand-me-down from a lady I sold my old van to so that she didn't have to live in her tent anymore. She spent a whole winter living in a tent with a chihuahua and she was Brazilian-American, had been in America for years and years. 
and was just out there living in a tent for a whole winter in Sedona. And the end of the winter, I came in a snowstorm and I, I gave her the van, you know. Anyways, here is the cooler she gave me and it's super awesome. Like it looks tiny, but like this lid doesn't have any insulation because it's meant to be a stacker. It's called a party stacker. Um, which I didn't have a problem because what you do is you put all the blankets over it. You wrap it up really well during the daytime, okay? That insulates it. That adds like, I don't know, five times the amount of insulation. You just pile it up, especially on the top, all around the sides. And that really keeps it cool during the day. But here's the real trick. At night, I learned from a girl in Sedona a few years ago to take ice packs and at first I just had these little cheap ice packs you can actually go to smaller grocery stores and if you ask somebody who works in the back the food comes packaged with these little ice packs and they'll just give them to you for free so I did it for a while with like five of these little ice packs until eventually the the plastic broke and then I I went and dropped like 20 bucks on these at Amazon just kind of fill your own and they admittedly they work a lot better I went a little overboard and got four of them, but it worked out well when I was staying at friends' houses because I could have two in the cooler and two in their freezer, and every day I just swap them out. And so when I'm not at a friend's house, this is the best part. You take them out at night, and you put them up on your roof, up on this metal roof. It keeps them nice and cold. At night, I would just spread everything out. I would even take the food out, spread it around on the cold roof, Leave the cooler lid off, let the cold air in here and here, and I wake up at sunrise and I put everything back in. And it was amazing what you could fit in here actually, because I could fit a large um, green salad mix, like the kind that come in the plastic tub, like a big one. I could fit that, I could fit a pound of bacon, a big block of cheese, um, I'd have a dozen eggs, they fit this way perfectly, and I would have like salsa, hummus, um, you know, whatever else. Um, those were my main things, along with maybe baby carrots and cherry tomatoes for the salad. And yeah, it just worked great. Like putting these up on the roof at night, um, it works like almost all year, except for maybe the middle of summer. If you're somewhere really hot, then it's not gonna work. But all the other times that, that worked really well. Um, what else can I show you? Here is this little organizer I got at a thrift store and it's been super handy. So I just have like this more, my small packing cells. This would be my toothbrush. This is soap and shampoo. My bong, of course, and a magnifying glass for it. Smoking bongs in the sunshine. And then vape pen stuff, sunglasses, mask, ubiquitous mask. And I wonder how long we're gonna be having to wear those for. And maybe some breath mints here with the shower stuff. But that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, I eventually packed this van more and more because my old van was much, much smaller. So when I moved into it, it was like, wow, this is huge. Like the older Sienna, you didn't have this room right here for your legs. You couldn't just be sitting right here like this. And I couldn't be sitting up straight, but I had a lot more storage right here underneath. So there was a clothes box and then a cooking and food box. But now this bed is lowered so I could sit up straight. So you you end up with the clothes down here and the cooking and the food only down there and yeah of course you'd have other boxes that slide down that would be back up in here so you could pull this out of the way and slide it down and you can actually fold this whole mattress all the way back and this board folds all the way back and you can slide those underneath and it turns into a seat so you can actually have people sitting back here of course the seat belts wouldn't really work but uh I think those are the main tips, really. It was a good home, but uh, it just eventually I packed it full of more and more stuff. And uh, you can see I've been organizing it for days. And holy crap, electronics, mountain biking, cooking, miscellaneous, um, toiletries, um, automotive and tools and food. And that bin actually fit perfectly right here and then this bin fit perfectly on top of it and they just locked together so all that was right here you couldn't put the seat all the way back but it didn't really matter because most of the time nobody's riding back there anyways oh one more thing to show you um this thing looks really ugly because i just taped it up 
like yesterday to protect it because it was kind of rattly seemed like it was going to break but this is a tp link um wi-fi extender personal hotspot travel router and it works awesome it's like on my phone i barely get internet from the house when i'm here if i plug this thing in i can set it up on the ledge over here closer and it gets a perfect signal and then it sends it to my phone so i can lay here and get awesome wi-fi and so it has its own password its own network and i've used this traveling the past year and i've been super impressed it's been super great there's little lights that light up here to let you know it's working and i power it with just this simple staples battery pack and it will last hours and hours and i just use this little cable so it's super easy and then another new addition is this tiny little solar panel which had good reviews on amazon and it works really really well to charge this like it'll top off this battery in one day it's much more powerful than those bigger heavier more expensive um, things rei sells and here's the brand it's tough spark i don't know if you can still get it but um somewhere it says how many volts it is it's, it's 6.8 watts 5 volt 1.36 amp so this thing charges at 2 amps so you know, almost one and a half amps of charging is pretty good. It definitely puts that out. This is a 7,800 milliamp battery bank, and it'll it will charge it in one day, in one sunny day, completely. But that's only if I'm not driving. If you're driving, you're running an alternator. You might as well just plug things in, and not worry about solar panels. I only worried about solar panels when I was parked for maybe five days, seven days out in some wild place, and yeah, then I I got a solar panel that plugged into the car battery. <clears throat> or just use this so that's that i guess one other trick is that's my uh winter sleeping bag and i use it as a pillow so that doubles that's a, another little thing and yeah that's it it's been a good home